You already know it's your boy Job. Make sure you subscribe, man. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click the notifications down there at the bottom somewhere. Make sure you subscribe. We're gonna teach you some JavaScript functions today, right? All right, so we're gonna go very simple today. All right, JavaScript functions. What is a JavaScript function, right? So what is a function? A JavaScript function is a block of code designed to perform a particular task. A JavaScript function is executed when something calls it. All right, so let's say your boss wants you to give him the total cars made yesterday and today. So pretty much what does that mean? It means give me the total. So add whatever was from yesterday and whatever's from today, whatever got made. All right. So instead of us having to repeat ourselves in every single day, you know, write it down in a sheet of paper and say, hey, yesterday we made seven and today we made eight. So we adding it up instead of doing that every single day and writing it down on a piece of paper. We basically we create a function to basically do that right so you don't have to keep writing the same code every single day all right so pretty much you start with a keyword which is function and then you say total cause which is the name and then from there inside parentheses you say okay yesterday and today so these two are called arguments it could be one, it could be it could be 10,000 arguments if you wanted to build it. Of course, it's not practical to build so many, you know, arguments. The most arguments I've seen is like, I've seen four. That's the most I've seen. But yeah, so pretty much you, you put your arguments inside the parentheses. And this becomes variables inside of your function. So pretty much, okay, you have your uh, arguments and then you got curly brackets which is an opening and a closing one and then inside of it you basically you put in the code that you're gonna basically repeat every single time so pretty much what I did was basically say okay var total equals yesterday plus today and then what you want to do is return the total right so now add number whenever you run add number two you know got a comma there and then you say two is gonna return a four so it's pretty much just saying okay two plus two because that's the yesterday's number and this is today's number pretty much pretty simple so you could do it like that just doing the function or you could basically declare a variable and say okay uh, var total cars equals function this two right here are exactly the same thing, same type of function. So pretty much you could, it's up to you. Ex you know, to be exact, the only difference is this, like let's say if you had the same functions written down in the same, on the same uh, JavaScript file, this runs first before this because when you type function without it being inside of a variable, it basically it goes into mem it goes into memory right away, right? So pretty much that's about it. That's how you write a function. It's not that that hard. I mean, look at the code. You see how easy it is. Function total cost, and then you put two arguments, and then inside of the code you basically say, hey, was the total total equals yesterday plus today, so it returns total. Now you have a number two plus two is going to give you four, right? So let's say an example here. Uh, we wanted to say, okay, I want to say, I want to repeat my name three times, right? Or like, let's say something simple. Uh, user one, username, let's say user one, username, right? So let's say function, and then we say name, and then inside of here we say, okay, uh, let's put in uh, user var 
title equals new law equals let's say hi 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 my name is then right here what I'm doing is concatenating I'm basically putting whatever's gonna come through here I'm gonna add it here on name so now when this is gonna return hi my name is Joe right so return title right so when I say username put in a string Joe now this should say hi my name is Joe okay. or I mean sometimes you could even put whatever you want and through the arguments you could pass functions you could pass objects you could pass um, numbers you could pass anything so basically inside this functions I could have just said hey 33 Hi, my name is 33. You see, you could just pass a number or like, let's say an object. If I wanted to use an object, matter of fact, because I haven't taught you objects yet. Let's leave that for later on. But this is the basics of creating a, a you know, how to write a function. It's that simple. It's that easy. And that's it. Make sure you watch the next video. You're going to love it. And make sure you subscribe because I need those subscribers, I need those likes, I need motivation to keep making these videos, man, and leave a comment, I want to see what you want to learn next, you know, even if you already know all the basics, trust me, tell me something that you want to learn, and I will make a video for you, okay, you already know, it's your boy Joe.